Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Aaron Luna. Tense moments for neighbors in North Spokane as snipers took up positions around a home. The Spokane County Sheriff's Office called the SWAT team to a house on Nevada and Tudor for a possible hostage situation. KXLY4's John Hendricks working for you tonight with how the situation started. And John, deputies say it was a mother and daughter they wanted to get out of the house? Yeah, that's right, Aaron. Spokane County deputies told me tonight this all started at a fast food restaurant on Division and ended at a home on the north side of the city. Tonight, deputies are still trying to figure out if anyone will face charges stemming from this standoff. Flashing lights. It's really quiet up here. Orange traffic cones. It is quiet and friendly. Then a roadblock at the corner of Wellington and Nevada in North Spokane. Not something you typically see in this neighborhood. Sunday afternoon would be the scene of a standoff. There was a sniper up on the roof of the house that he was next to. Jim Galliano and Cheryl Branca watched it all play out. It wasn't until we came out front and saw all the trucks and all the cop cars like lining up that we could tell that was something major was going on. Spokane County deputies say it all began after a woman showed up to a fast food restaurant on the north side of Spokane. Reportedly brandishing a weapon, um, was acting erratic. The woman's teen daughter was at the restaurant as well and left with her mother. We were not sure whether or not the daughter left uh, on her own accord or whether or not she was brought away with her mother. Deputies say they made their way to this home where an hour and a half standoff ensued. No one coming out, even with loudspeakers blaring and guns pointed at the home. What made me nervous is when I went out on the deck and realized that there were snipers climbing up on roofs. Then it got my attention. Eventually, the two would come out, putting a peaceful end to some very tense moments. Every time we call SWAT out, it is, tr is, it is to try to end this peacefully. That is the resolution. That is the job of SWAT. Glad it's over, and I'm glad, glad that it resolved peacefully and that uh, yes. nobody got hurt. Again, deputies say no charges have been filed quite yet. They are still actively investigating this case. Reporting in studio tonight, John Hendricks, KXLY 4 News.